boldness, confidence. And there's one more word we'll look at. We'll open it when we get there. These three are serious, serious components of a miracle. We just saw in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35, it says, your confidence will be rewarded. And, and, and let's stay here in the book of Daniel and you'll see what will happen. We're verse, we just read 16 and 17. Verse 18, they say, but even if he doesn't, even if he doesn't, let it be known to you, O king, that we will not serve your gods, nor worship the golden image which you have set up. You want miracles? You have to make up your mind that the way you're going to receive this miracle is by the word of God, is by the mm-hmm. principles of the kingdom. If you see having a double mind as to, oh, I can cut corners, I can do unrighteousness and have miracles, this is the wrong system for you. You want to have clean miracles. You want to have miracles that everyone that we hear will be like, yes, this is God. Now, we will not read all of it, but I will explain it so you can pray. You know they were rewarded for their confidence. Even the smoke of that fiery furnace did not touch their body. Even the hair on their skin was intact. I dare you to believe this God like you've never believed him. Have confidence in him like you've never had. Even in this month. I know what the enemy will tell you. What if it doesn't happen? Just look at him in the eyes. He didn't ask permission to ask you that question. Don't ask him the same permission. Talk like the Hebrews children spoke to the the king. He said, oh king, we're not not careful to answer you in this matter. You You can take one of the extremes. There are two extremes. You can either look at the enemy in the eye and say, what if it happens? Or you can look at him and say, I'm not careful to answer you in this matter. Or even better still, you don't even say nothing. And focus and face your front. Mm-hmm. I want you to pray. Lord, I choose confidence. Lord, mm-hmm. help me to be confident. Lord, I need to be. If you know your confidence is zero, just tell him the whole truth. Every one of us, you're going to pray according to what you understand. This exhortation uh, in, in, in your own state of your walk with the Lord. I got some very funny visions. I'll be sharing them. Oh, but I want you to pray, understanding the seasons. I tell you the truth. This is not the season to be, be, be confused about your identity in Christ. This is not the season to be playing with, do I want to be righteous or I don't want to? It's not the season. If anything, uh, uh, Mr. Koro has shown us, is it Mrs. Koro, is that this, this, this whole thing can wrap up at any time or you can die at any time. There are husbands that have died and left their wives. There are wives that died in Koro and left their, their, their husbands. There are children that died. This, this nonsense of trying to please everyone to the point of living unrighteously is not the right time. I'm talking to myself, I guess. But if it really ministers to you, take it serious. Why are you cutting corners just so your mother can be happy, your father, your sisters? You can die and they will cry and become righteous and you go to hell. Somebody say, God forbid, I'm not going to hell. Well, your actions can tell us where you're going. I was talking to one of my spiritual children once and they said, but mom, what's your view on one safe forever safe. I said, in underlining what is safe. If you choose to be unsafe, where will you go? Uh Uh-oh, you didn't hear me. Once safe, forever safe. If you put on before the safe, what will happen? Can you unsafe? is 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 it rocket science? Salvation is not in a vacuum. It's not. Salvation is something you can see, you can know. If you're a child of God, you're saved, you're living a life of a kingdom citizen. Nobody needs to tell you. You know it. You're a spirit being. You know it. You're living a life that is not in line. You're not bold. You're, you're so timid. 
You don't have confidence in God. You can't say, "Mm -mm, this is not what I want to eat because I'm fasting. No, this is not what I'm going to do. I'm not sleeping now. No, this is not how I dress. This is not what I'm going to be saying. This is not the kind of man I want to marry. This is not the kind of woman I want to marry. You're timid. You want to die or you want to go to hell because of marriage or because of food or because of sleep or money. Money won't do nothing in hell. I tell you the truth. Never forget. It doesn't matter what you have on this side of eternity. The other side is bigger. It's a longer time. So this matter of confidence is not a joke. And the beautiful thing is that your confidence will be rewarded in heaven. That's the most amazing thing. Somebody say your unrighteousness will also be rewarded in hell, but you don't like that kind of a reward. Especially listening to me this afternoon. It's important to live a life of confidence in God, not in yourself. We said it yesterday. It's called god confidence. It's important. The amazing thing is, it's not only rewarded on the other side. You see the benefit from this sight. The children of Israel, these this Hebrew children, they saw it. And I guess even in eternity, they'll be rewarded. Even if all their reward is the fact that we're talking about them, that's enough. Child of God, be confident in your God. Say no to ungodliness. Let's pray. You have heard the exhortation that almost turned into a teaching. Pray for yourself according to what you know. If you're not a confident person, tell the Lord, I repent. I choose to throw away my, my confidence in my father and put it in you. I choose to throw away my confidence in my wife, in my husband, and put it in you. I choose to throw away my confidence in my bank account and put it in you. I choose to throw away my confidence in the fact that I have a gun in my house and choose you for protection. I choose to throw away the fact that I'm born in a rich home or family, my siblings, my uncle, my auntie, and put my confidence in you. Many of us, we don't know that our confidence is in people or in things. But let me show you the easiest way to know. When you have a challenge, who do you talk to the first? Who do you run to first or the most? Who, hey, I can't wait to tell this person. Uh-huh. So think, that's the people you want to pray against now. You say against? Yes. Because when you take a stand for God, you have automatically take a stand against anything else that's not God. Lebra su cabara masha ya de rebeke se lebro kumara satabara. The next word we're looking at is strength. And when you look at the definition of strength, it says the quality or state of being physically strong, the capacity of an object or substance to withstand great force or pressure. Mm, I like that one. The capacity of an object or substance to withstand great force or pressure is called strength. Now, we, we, we are focusing more on the aspect of um, strengthening, not just strength. So strengthening is make or become stronger. So we already are able to withstand some things. But in this prayer segment, we are asking the Lord, to make us to be able to withstand even more. That no matter what the enemy will throw at you this month, you will not just uh, um, have the capacity to to withstand it, but you you will have increasing capacity to withstand. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16. Let's open to Ephesians 3 16. Um, when you always pray according to his will, he will hear you and he will answer you. His will is his word. Ephesians 3.16, like John 3.16, Ephesians 3.16. The New Living, the New International Version says that, I pray that out of God's glorious riches, he may strengthen you, means empower you. Increase your ability to stand and withstand situation. May strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. He said, I pray that his glorious unlimited resources, uh, his glorious unlimited resources, 
I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Inner strength. That's what we want to ask him. Inner and physical. We need both. In this prayer segment, Lord, strengthen me. Lord, strengthen me. Physically and spiritually. You need both to receive a miracle. The miracle we saw yesterday needed physical strength and spiritual strength. This miracle that you're reading today needed both. It needed both spiritual strength and physical strength. I want you to pray the same for yourself. Lord, in this season, I, I ask, I request, I, 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 I am in need of strengthening physical strength spiritual strength i tell you if you have physical strength you can pray you have phys physical strength you can study even if you have as much physical um, spiritual strength but your, your physical is limited you might not pray as much you might not study as much as much but when you have both spiritual and physical strength i'm telling you you are a wonder or to get you're already a wonder even to uh, yourself talk less of to the enemy or position to receive your miracle i know you have understood so let's pray okay i want us to pray and say every conspiracy to kill comes to naught anyone planning an untimely death in my family be it me or my family members anyone planning an untimely death, anyone strategizing to kill in the month of September, as they finish, may they die their own death. Uh, I used to not pray like this. I say, yeah, can I tell you the truth? God is the one that answers prayers. If you pray a miss, he won't answer. Pray this prayer like you understand. Tell him, Lord, no untimely death in my lineage. Go as far as whatever generation you want. It is what you say that will stand. It is what you're expecting that will come to pass. If you're wanting the enemy to do his part, he's set. If I share the vision, many of you will be scared. You will be screaming like, oh no. Many of the dead are supposed to be untimely. They're supposed to be people you saw yesterday or two days ago. We're not praying for this to happen. But whoever is planning their death, whoever is strategizing to kill you, whoever is strategizing to kill your spouse, whoever is strategizing to kill your child, this month, they die in their place. They don't stop their mm -hmm. strategizing. They don't stop their, what was the grammar for this one? They are strategizing. They themselves fall in their strategy. Mm -hmm. If they don't stop it now, mm -hmm. they fall in it. Amen. You can see, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Do you see the nature of the scriptures we have been studying? Somebody, the vision is tied to the scriptures we have been studying. Look at the first scripture we studied yesterday. What was the enemy trying to do? Kill them. Kill. Yeah, yeah. he was strategizing to finish with them or take them back to mm. slavery. Slavery is a slow process of mm. death. You would eventually die from hard work. Look at this one Ooh. today. They wanted to burn them in the furnace. You know, we don't sit and pick the scriptures to study for the month. You can ask Miss G. I was writing a house. Yeah. I said, oh, I know the scriptures. I remember that Miss mm. Ebai will tell you all. I always give her scriptures what Miss Ebai, sometimes even a week before. But these ones... Daddy had to give one after the other. There are times he would tell me, he said, go pick, go, go, go put the scriptures together. But this fast, no. Mm -mm. He picked the scriptures all by himself. All by himself. And just as I was talking there, he took me to the scriptures. Do you realize that in almost the two scriptures we are studying, and because I know the rest of the scripture, every strategy was to kill? Mm -mm. It's true. Don't be scared. I guess that's why he started by saying we should pray for boldness and confidence. <laughs> I tell you, when I lead prayers, I don't come with prayer points. As we pray, I hear. That's what we do. We like the now word. We want to be connected to heaven. We want to pray what daddy is saying. We don't want to pray amiss at all. If you come to a prayer meeting, you hear us at the end, we say, we thank you for answer to prayer, wondering how confident are you all? Because we prayed what he wanted. 
So I want you to pray and say every conspiracy, every gang up, every strategist or strategy, anything that has been set in place for premature death, let the one strategizing fall into their pit. Oh, wow. This Amen. is so timely. Look at it again. Even with the children of Israel, they fell into the Red Sea. Ooh, I was saying what I was hearing, but look back at the scriptures. So if you were thinking Ms. Ima was just saying stuff, look back at the scriptures. At the end of this, who burned in the foreign furnace? The people went, the people who went and, and did the conspiracy. For those who have already studied, you will see that it is the same set of people that went and, 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 con, uh, and did the conspiracy, strategized to kill the children. I tell you a lie that God is my witness. I was not thinking this prayer. It was coming direct from my spirit. And as I'm talking, it's unveiling from the scriptures we're studying. Mm -hmm. So anyone, somebody's like, in my family, who wants to kill you? You never know until the person dies. You're like, whoa, how dare you die now? It could be your cousin's cousin's cousin. It could be your... And somebody has been crying and say, I cannot die like this. And the Lord is saying, you now stand the gap as the priest. You can be standing the gap for your for, for, for somebody that if they told you they are ready for death, somebody's about to kill them, you won't believe. You won't believe it. It could be you. Could be you. Until you escape it now, you'll be like, whoa, is this what mama was saying? It could be the enemy has strategized any kind of thing. During uh, uh, um exemption, you had testimony. Somebody held on a bike by their, their sleeves, the inner wear of their clothes. On a bike? Are you kidding me? <laughs> that sounds like a super miracle. And they never had a scratch. Another person, the gas was on the whole night and carbon monoxide did not kill their family. Don't tell me there are no miracles. We enjoyed all kinds of miracles, but I tell you this morning, we hear things. You will hear some mm -hmm. things. You'll be like, wait a minute. There is God. Oh. The God of miracle is in our midst. I want Amen. you to pray with this understanding. Amen. Lord, in the similitude of the truth. Ah, now we have something to tell him. I was going to say, let's pray. Because that's what I heard. Conspiracies must be, dis must be destroyed. They must be brought to naught. Anyone planning death, they die in your place. So people Amen. dying around you, don't, don't cry too much. Come back to prayer and say, Lord, was this the one? <laughs> oh my God, you go to your uncle's funeral and you're looking at him at the cover, like that, in the covenant, and they're like, What are you doing? He said, I'm checking out something. They're like, Get out of here. You better cry. You know that something was in place. You know. You know. Hey, you will know. In this family, we have seen those things. You will know. You will know. Because who is conspiring? They have two options. They either stop it or they die. These people are not planning small. Whoever is planning is not planning small. Somebody is like, oh, no, it's not for me. It's for the other person. Please don't pray. But don't come back and say, let's, 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 let's agree with you in prayer. Your family is grieving. We we'll agree anyway, but it'll be too late. It's in some of these things, the people that have died close to us, if we will be consistent like we have been in prayer lately, we'll catch all of these things. Because that's who we are, priests catch them and judge them before they even take place people shouldn't die prematurely premature death is never god's will let me boost your 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 your, your confidence as you pray for this topic we were once in prayer in this family and we saw one of us the date of their death their grace and everything and who was planning the death and we prayed i'm not sure if she was sleeping the eve to that day or not <laughs> <laughs> but she's still here before then she got attacked she knew something was not right but she didn't know what it was why in prayer like we just prayed we caught it I saw the grave I saw the date I saw who I'm not sure if I told her who but I, I remember talking about it did we talk about the who did we tell you who the person was that was trying to kill you oh, no mama we did not okay that's good that's my own part I don't have to say that but I saw the person and I saw what they were doing. We saw the grave. We saw the date. They already settled it in the covenant and said, on this day, she's going to die. <laughs> Before that time, I think one of those days she was going to walk, she skipped a red light. 
Mm-hmm. When they strategize these things, they, they don't play. Well. They don't. That's why I laugh at people who think life is for jellyfishes. No, you're not a prayer person. You'll be a prey to the enemy. Ah, uh, you're not a prayer. Type that one. I like it. It's not a t-shirt, but it's good. You don't pray, you'll be a prey. If you don't pray, you'll be a prey. It's true. I want us to pray and say any conspiracy, any weapon formed to kill me, kill my spouse, my children, oh, yes. anybody related and associated with me. I stand as the priest. And I, you don't have to even yell. Hey, I, this kind of prayer, sometimes I, don't, I just cross my neck. I say, Satan, 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 hear me. You know, we don't, we don't have nothing in common. Me and you don't do drama together. I'm telling you, stop it. Especially when this one is sweet because the scriptures are there. It lines up with everything we're studying. All right, prayer time. Pray as you understand. Mashande le broko sukata rabayat le prakasi ke le le mashande. Joy, celebration, joy, celebration, celebration, joy, 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 celebration, joy,